from the Lopoto mine in the Katanga, we have a crust of uh, a crassa color, uh, usually filled with some uh, mud. I actually shot a lot of mud out of here and compacted clay. So pretty brittle material. At a time I had quite a lot of this material which I traded because often I find on transportation um, these guys get damaged, especially if you add it to a heavier parcel. Now solid chrysocola, these formations over here, this bladed formation, some may say chrysocola after azurite, some may say chrysocola after malachite, uh, or, or even just an abstract form of the chrysocola. Now, the, the core, the blue core, is quite typical of the Chrysocala, and often we find little malachite in the heart of that. I don't see any on this particular piece. From a display point of view, one would display this guy flat, so going around like this, this is the effect you'd have. Or let's look from the top down. This is actually quite appealing. And then the green on top here would most likely be a little bit of malachite formation sitting on top of the, the, the Chrysocala formation. But pretty solid cast of Chrysocala with a little bit of um, a compacted clay uh, as a strengthening formation and maybe even a, a, a young or very, very young dolomite. All the way from the Lupoto mine, of course, one of the famous costs of, uh, I think it was down about 2015 or so, uh, a sensation of the shows at one of the shows, um, almost a blue to a blue-green in color.